Ten. Um, so then, of course, scoring, slipping. So yeah, I, would, I just want to, you know, with what I what I do, you know, is kind of starting out making parts of stuff, right? That's going to be that's going to be joined together later. Um, so I just want to get a few things underway. So I just got some some slip. This is just uh, slip made from the clay body. So <clears throat> if you you can see how this how these bevels come together. You know, so so there's overlap there. So ultimately, you know, clay likes to you know, clay likes it when the when the walls are thick or even even thickness. And so this you know, this type of joint um, hopefully becomes just pretty much similar thickness to the rest of the wall, right? And you didn't score that. I did score it. You did. I didn't see. I was on the other side. Dark see, side of the See room. how fast that goes when you're when see when you're demonstrating. You know what you're doing. But we're looking. And we well, sometimes score. people don't 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 score. Yeah. Is that just like an offset frosting spatula right it, there? It absolutely yeah. is. Pro tip number two. Oh, like, is it a yeah. I see the spatula. We're all gonna go get one. Yep. I used to be a baker. Oh. I was a baker. Oh, yeah. Baker. What's your favorite thing to bake? Pies. Pies. Oh. Oh. We're gonna become friends. <laughs> I love pie. Pies. So um. All right, so you know this this is a cylinder. It's gonna you know pretty much it's gonna stay a cylinder. Um, just trying to make it round, you know, relatively round, and just put this aside for now. And then and then there's this part. Do I have a question? So your tools. Tell us about your what well, you're cutting on. Your cutting surface. So if I wanted to make my own cutting surface, what is that? Is that like a uh, plywood or is it's that drywall? Drywall, okay. And then you put uh, tape around it, okay. Yeah. So it's it is a nice surface for for this kind of thing because uh, because it's one is really smooth. It doesn't give texture like canvas does. So it doesn't add texture to your slab. Um, okay. It absorbs a little bit of water, so it will uh, you know so the clay doesn't stick. And it will, you know, it, and which it can also help dry the clay out a little bit. Um, and it's made of plaster-like material, right? So you don't want to get that in your clay. So that's why, you know, when you cut these to shape, you want to contain the plaster. With the, that's what's happening with the tape. Okay. Yeah, really, it's a really nice surface for for. Um, we can make some of those. Those are mine. Those are in the studio. Oh, those are yours. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. You're welcome to use them if you're nice to them. Oh, okay. And then we can always get more drywall and make more. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty easy. Sometimes you just rain dump, you know, just, there's a construction project. Or, probably everybody here has a piece of drywall at their house right now. Josh probably has a bunch right now. Or knows where I'll get it. Yeah, yeah, brought it. Yeah. And they sell two foot squares. Oh, they do the That would be perfect. Two. So probably two foot square. They sell that. Oh. Like already. See, easy. Yeah. You don't have to buy a giant sheet. <laughs> so okay. So oh, actually, let's see. 
Let's make this square. Um, so like that cup wherever it went, this one over the yellow one. Um, so this will be the this will be the body, <clears throat> and then this is going to be the kind of um, addition. So I'm going to um, put a couple corners onto this. You know, kind of square it. And then just let the parts kind of firm up for a little bit and then join them together a little bit later. Are you going in with your thumb on the inside of that? I'm trying not to, um, no, I'm mostly just pressing from the outside. Yeah, so, so um, you know, like for altering from things, etc. cetera, um, I generally just sort of, you know, use the, the pads in my fingers and just kind of, you know, maybe lift, lift up a little bit and bend. Um, and then I can come back with, with a rib or, or something and, and kind of sharpen these edges a little. I was, um, I was up at, um, Southern Illinois, Edwardsville, mm -hmm. do, doing this you know, several years ago, talking about, you know, having been a baker. And, um, and at the time, instead of, this is, this predates my, uh, my offset spatula. I was doing something like just using a family knife the same way. And um, Paul Drazang, who was the, the professor there at the time, you know, he was just kind of pointing out how you know, these things that are part of our previous experience, you know, come out in different ways. And, um, and so at some point I was like, yeah, I just need to, I need to get this, you know, this icing tool to, uh, to use with the clay. Yeah. So yeah, so this is going to be, you know, once this has a chance to set up, you know, it'll be attached. And so we'll, we'll look at that in a little bit. Um, let's see, another... How did you happen to come up with that design? It's an unusual design. That's, uh, that's a good question. Um, I, this was, oh, let's see, okay. I was, I was applying to graduate school and um, I was talking to a friend who suggested that, like I put an application in, um, and I was talking to a friend and he was like, you know what, you know what would impress the, the, the you know, particular professor, uh, you know, who would be reviewing my application would be to like, after my application was in, send him more images of things that like I had just sort of done. Or like something that was new that was different from the portfolio. It was like, like yeah, just different. Um, and so at the time, I was I was predominantly working on the wheel and throwing and altering. And um, and let's see if I can use this to explain. Um, so I started looking for different different ways to alter the shape. And what I did. Instead of this, you know, adding something here, I, you know, starting with a cylinder. Yeah, let's see if I can see if I can explain this. Um, starting with a cylinder, I cut, I cut a section out here, right, like a vertical section, like took it away, and then, and then, put that back together, or you know, kind of like a dart. But then there was there was also a vertical cut that kind of separated something. You know, so there was something that kind of came out from there, okay. and so that was that was um, that was the beginning, and then like a bump out or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Out. yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. So there's like, and then, and then you'll see later. This is this will be a, an attached a, another slab that's attached to close that opening. Oh um, and so when I when I when I did 
so I, so I, you know, so I did this stuff, and I, by the time, I didn't do it fast enough, and I didn't get into the school that I was trying to get into. Um, but when I did, but I did go to grad school. I went to University of Florida. It's my first foray into being a Floridian, um, 2012, <clears throat> and um, and that was kind of my starting point for grad school. It was this sort of, you know, the thing that it did that kind of continued throughout the work is having these these different volumes that are intersecting each other, mm -hmm. right? So there's, you know, these it's kind of this architectural thing of, you know, a piece being kind of composed from separate parts that are that are intersecting in this kind of way. So. So yeah, so that was the beginning. Well, that was where I started with graduate school, and this is kind of where, you know, where that cup has has ended up at the moment. Okay, thank you. What was the school that uh, was accepted? Alfred. Oh. And was that also like 2011, or yeah, even earlier? Okay. Yeah, so just before. Yeah, it was the same. The same round of applications. So the other, you know, another, so if a rectangle gives you a cylinder, you know, this sort of, you know, this is basically a section of a circle. And this will give, you know, this type of shape will give you a, a conical, a conical form. Did you say what paper those are made out of? It's tar paper. It's tar paper. <clears throat> rolls and rolls of it. More than we will ever use. Yeah. yeah. So we so you can have as much of it as you need. Oh, yeah. I think you just made that one big two rolls or one big so one. one part, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. One. 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 I don't know where we even got that, but it's <laughs> got a lot of it. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, you can't get a little bit of that. It's a giant roll or nothing. Haunt you for the rest of your life. Yeah. Excuse me, is this a 45 degree cutting? 45 degree cutting? Exactly. You, you call, precisely. Yeah. How to call manually? Or? Exactly. Forty-five. <laughs> oh yeah. I think uh, you are very skillful. <laughs> uh, I tried. It's a jig jig like this. Yeah. Straight forty-five. Yeah. Yeah. You are the veteran. Yeah. I understand. It might be age, man. Yeah. Very hard. Yeah. Uli bully, Yeah. I'm making another another kind of cup. Cup by. Um. I recently bought a bug that was inverted paint, just like that, hand built, which is why I bought it because you don't see too many. You see more with the frame. Uh huh. Nice. Thanks for supporting the hand builders. I went up to the <laughs> Parkway for vacation and came back with a huge haul of pottery. Oh, yeah, so sure. Wait, where at? Blue Ridge. The uh, Asheville area. Mm -hmm. So all over that area. Asheville, we were going to price and city. My husband was like, he's like, you know you make pottery, right? I'm like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could relate to that. Yeah, we're the best collectors. <laughs> well, we appreciate the craft. So I'm going to make this a triangle, or kind of a torqued, torqued triangle. I'm going to start by making just a you know, fairly straight edge, and then add a little, add a little twist.
So I'm going to I'm going to do the same thing, sort of like pushing together to you know to kind of define a corner. But I'm gonna I'm gonna not go in a straight line and try to have have this so it feels like it's a little twisted, a little, you know, kind of a diagonal. So one, one thing I'm looking at with this is this has kind of a pronounced, this will have kind of a pronounced foot added later. And what I, one of the things that I'm interested in with these, see how it, like it feels like it's leaning a little bit, like it could, you know, there's like having some kind of a tension that feels like it might fall, but I'm going to, I'm going to also, um, I guess both in a visual sense and a, physical sense with the foot I'm going to have more of like a support on like sort of under that so um, you know it's not actually going to fall but just sort of building this kind of you know potential tension that that is a little off kilter um, one you know some, some something that's been a big influence has been architecture for me and you know looking looking closely at that um, and I think I think that architects especially who design buildings in ways that you know we don't you know we, we wouldn't imagine a building you know being I like front like Frank Geary for, for yeah. instance um, you know like I'm drawn to things that that abstract something in a way that that we wouldn't expect to see it um, and so so there's there's a lot of this this kind of, um, kind of postmodern um, architecture kind of you know that is that's informing the work for me um, Marty, do you look at uh, brutalist architecture? Yeah. Yeah. Thought so. Do you know that architecture style? style? What's the name? Brutalist. What is that? European aesthetic architecture started in the 1950s, post war, the construction, blocky. Cast concrete, rocky, cast very, concrete. Yeah, oh, you would call it like uber. It's pretty uber modern, but really like stark. It's pretty great. Mm -hmm. it's minimal, mm -hmm. beautiful. I mean, beautiful and simple form. You know. Cool stuff. So I've got a little, you know, you know, some some templates from over over time. Um, several things in here. I want to do one. I think one more, one 